Yo, what's going on, my white people? Welcome back to a brand new video exclusively to white people. If you're Latino or any other color, just wait till the next. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I felt so bad saying that. Yo, what's going on, my people? So, I found this woman. This has 14 million views. What we're here to talk about is this cringy woman harassing a dad simply because she saw a man holding hands with a little girl who happened to be the dad's, well, daughter. These crazy ladies watch one episode of CSI Chicago or CSI New York, and they think they're detectives. They're with ice tea. They're like, okay, we're gonna figure this crime out. There's a 45-year-old dad, and he's holding hands with a five-year-old girl does this mean he's a creep or could it maybe just maybe be a father and a daughter shopping now that can't be now as the video goes on and the stupider this story gets and i just love and i kind of respect the fact that she made three videos out of this but before we continue i gotta give a big thanks to hero wars for sponsoring today's video and uh, helping your boy out sensitive society please tell me what is hero wars i am dying to know please i'm begging you i'll give you 25 dollars. just tell me tell me i'll tell you i, I I'll just tell you okay just sit down hero wars is a game out right now for both android ios and this is a new one and web browser so there's legitimately no excuse for you not to be playing hero wars i mean it's free it's out for every platform it's perfect i started playing hero wars a few days ago as a matter of fact and i've been having a lot of fun and it's one of those games you play while you're waiting you're waiting in line maybe a karen screaming at the manager hero wars is an online role-playing action game with a variety that has pvp and pve modes so there's something for everyone here you can play with your friends you can play with your amigos with your amigas you can play with the bosses it has a great story like it feels like a classic fantasy game with completing missions you can loot and upgrade your champions aka your character you can drip them out if you want to this game has more than 50 unique heroes and they all stand out in their own special way you can download hero wars using my link in the description or in the pink comment or the qr code that's on screen right now and if that's still not enough you're not convinced you're like sensitive i am not sold yet join the game right now and get a super chest with the secret hero as well as 62 emeralds and 30,000 gold scan this qr code or download the game from the link below to claim these rewards for free like i think this is one of the best offers in gaming i mean let's just keep it honest here it's free and you get a whole bunch of cool shit count me in thank you once again hero wars for sponsoring today's video so anyways let's just get into this video of a woman harassing innocent people because she saw way too much csi i think i just stopped somebody from human trafficking at walmart this is what I saw. He had his hand around her waist and was holding her hand when they walked in. It struck me as really odd, but then I left and put my groceries away anyway. I'm sitting there and then just hit me. You have to go back and check on this girl. I go back in and they're in line at the pharmacy. 100% she's giving me hand signals, which I interpret as I need help. What kind of hand signals? Are you an expert? Can you show us what she was doing? I guess so she took the photo, which is already weird enough. I guess you could argue it's evidence. Okay, but you're not a cop. <laughs> you're not Spider-Man, bro. You're just a normal Karen. Believe it or not, this might be shocking to some of y'all. Some dads don't walk out and don't go get milk. I, when I was younger and my sister was smaller, here's something that might get me arrested. This lady might come find me, maybe. When we used to cross the street, I used to hold her hand and I am not a creep. <laughs> and I am not a weirdo out here, so. The way anyway, I'm sitting there and then just hit me. You have to go back and check on this girl. The intentions, if they're real, if they're true, if I respect it. But the fact that you knew this wasn't the case, and the fact that you're pretending to be some kind of superhero, the fact that you're putting this as I, a 40-year-old Karen, potentially stopped a kidnapping, when you know that ain't what happened, is what makes me question it. You knew what you had in your hands. You knew the material. And I love the description, by the way. Part one, possible human trafficking at Walmart. Hashtag human trafficking awareness. Hashtag Walmart. <laughs> I go back in and they're in line at the pharmacy. 100% she's giving me hand signals, which I interpret as I need help. So I approach her and say, hey, you're about my niece's age. What nail polish color do you like better? And then I was like, oh my God, I love your dress top shirt thing that you have going on. Where did you get that? Her dad did the talking the entire time. If I was a dad, my daughter was like seven or eight, and some random lady came up to me and said that, of course I'm answering. People gotta stop with them conspiracy theories. Just drink your wine, bitch. Her dad did the talking the entire time. So at that point, he turns around to talk to the pharmacist. I pulled out my mask and I say, do you need help? She said no. 
really quietly, but that wasn't good enough for me. What do you want the girl to say? Yes, please help me. This dude is not my father. I get the intention is kind of good. I hope it comes from the heart, right? As the video goes on, there's two parts left to watch. I'm guessing and I'm thinking this woman was low-key, low-key praying to God. This girl was actually being kidnapped to so make like a fucking movie and a TV show out of it. The TikToker to stop the kidnapping, dot, dot, dot. I could see right through you. As a content creator, I know what you're doing. <laughs> hope I'm wrong though. Hope I'm wrong. So I touched her shoulder and I said, are you okay? Do you need help? She said no again. So I had to accept that. So I started to leave. And then her dad came after me to confront me. And you gotta love how it ends. This woman knows, and I said it before, and I kind of respect it. This woman knows exactly what she was doing. Milking it, leaving us on a cliffhanger saying, oh, subscribe for part two, follow me for part two. Yeah, that's what makes me question all of this. Part two. Dad continues to talk with the pharmacist and I go to a manager who then goes to the pharmacist and confirms that this girl is here with her guardian. So I'm with the manager and the dad slash guardian comes up to me and says, why did you say that to her? And I was playing dumb, like, why did I say what? And then he says, what made you think that she wasn't okay? And I said, you know, it was when you walked in the door and you were holding hands and that looked odd to me. This woman looks like she hasn't slept in five days days it could be a couple of reasons maybe she just can't sleep maybe she's just binge watching all of the new sensitive society bangers that's a possibility right maybe she's just a fan maybe she's like i gotta binge them all or and i think this is most likely what the truth is this woman is so into conspiracy theories and i'm talking about like the craziest conspiracy theories you can think of like talking angela's spine on you you guys remember that back in 2015 2014 it's it's, it's a certified hood classic he says so i can't hold hands with my daughter at this point, he was so mad, he just stormed off. Rightfully so. Like, what do you expect? <laughs> what do you legitimately expect? You expect to be, oh, like, thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. Come over for Thanksgiving. Come over for Christmas. I'll make the cranberry sauce. You bring the fucking tacos. Let's go. No, I would be pissed. I'd be like, bitch, I'm a dad. I'm a father. I'm a responsible father. I'm staying in my kid's life. I left. I don't know if I did the right thing. I either left this girl and her family really traumatized or... If she is in an unsafe situation, I give her a little bit of confidence so that maybe next time if somebody's there to help, she'll take it. You are not saving the planet. <laughs> I don't know who you think you are. This woman right here definitely has a main character moment 24 seven. Like this woman really thought making these videos was a good idea. <laughs> Part three on possible human trafficking. My conversation with a dad, if you're interested. Dad tells me that his daughter looks a lot older than she actually is. She's only 10. He says her mom does all of the shopping, so they don't know where her shirt's from, but he shows me the tag at the back. I don't even know where my sister or my mom get their shirt from. Okay, I don't even know where I get my own shirt from, actually. That's such a weird question. Like, out of all the questions you could have asked, you decide to go for the, let me see your shirt tag, or where do you get your shirts? I don't even know where I get my shirts from, bro. And then he proceeds to tell me on his daughter's behalf that I should get the pink nail polish. I just end it with, well, thanks for your help and then go directly to a manager. I don't know about you guys, but I think this woman's actually kind of crazy. This is one of those videos where I feel so bad and I feel secondhand embarrassment. Megan, what am I thinking right now? Mm, that you wanna go to Starbucks? Yes. Come on, let's go! Bro, every basic bitch wants to go to Starbucks. I could have done that. This is so fake and I feel stupid just saying this. <laughs> Please stop. Mm, that you wanna go to Starbucks? Yes. Come on, let's go! So telepathy actually does exist. And we proved it with our high school science fair project. We actually took second place in the World Science Fair for our project on twin telepathy. I am gonna call Cap. Uh, studied hundreds of sets of identical twins across the country. We went to like those twins festivals and conducted our experiment. Is we got photographs from the University of Florida that are specifically designed to evoke emotions in people. So one twin would look at this image, feel this emotion, and telepathically send it to their twin and they'd both be recording what they were feeling at that exact moment. After analyzing 30,000 sets of data with a 95% confidence interval, we found that the twins in our experiment had significantly greater chances of matching their emotions than if two computers were... All right, I'm bored. I am bored of this. I am bored of this crazy lady. You did not stop a kidnap. Okay, I'm done. I mean, yeah, she's kind of bad. I might hit the DMs. I don't know. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.